Hi, I'm Yusuke Rai from Osaka University. Today, I'd like to talk about FIT SKSJ, fast and exact algorithm for top K special keyword similarity join. Here is a background of our research, special keyword similarity join problem. In this operation, given a threshold for special similarity and a threshold for keyword similarity, we search fields whose spatial and keyword similarities are not less than the thresholds. This operation is very useful to recommendation and advertisement. For example, we consider the situation that we want to recommend a sushi restaurant, and we assume that this user likes a sushi restaurant. By special keyword similarity join, we can know that this user is near this user and also by Xa Sushi. Then we can recommend the same restaurant as this user to this user. This recommendation is likely to be effective. However, specifying the two thresholds is difficult for general users because such thresholds are domain specific and the result size is unknown. This is a problem such as advertisement because advertisers have budgets. To avoid this problem, top K special keyword similarity join problem has been proposed. In this operation, given a result size K, we search the K most similar pairs in terms of location and keyword. Since we can know the result size, it is more useful for some situations such as advertisement. Therefore, we address this issue. In other words, we propose a fast algorithm for top K spatial keyword similarity join. Next, we define some notations in our research. First, O is a spatial keyword object, and O dot P is location, which consists of X and Y coordinates, and O dot S is keyword set. Second, we introduce similarity. We define special similarity as SMP. It is the Euclidean distance based similarity, where this means the Euclidean distance between two points, and this max means the maximum Euclidean distance. Next, we introduce keyword set similarity. It is Jacquard similarity. In the special keyword similarity, same. It is weighted summation of sim p and sim s. Alpha is a parameter to balance two similarities. When alpha is large, sim p special similarity is more important. On the other hand, alpha is small, sim s keyword set similarity is more important. And we define top k special keyword similarity join is a problem to such k pairs whose sim is the largest. Here is the state of the algorithm for top k special keyword similarity join, sig join. In sig join, for each object, calculate a subset which consists of candidate object whose pair with a selected object can be the final result. After that, we calculate the similarity between the object and each object of the subset and update the current result pairs. Note that we calculate similarity between the pair of all objects and the subset, so we can decrease number of distance similarity calculation. However, SigJoin has some problems. The first one is the initial threshold to calculate the subset is small, because SigJoin sets the initial threshold in a randomly selected tree node. When initial threshold is smaller, many unnecessary objects are in candidate subset, which decreases speeds. The second one is that calculate the similarities to element in its candidate subset for each object. So many, many similarity calculations are required. To address this problem, we propose fit SKSJ stands for fast and exact algorithm for top K special keyword similarity join. Our algorithm consists of three parts. The first one is threshold initialization. It is to calculate a tight initial threshold. 
The second one is node node filtering, and the last one is object node filtering. By this filtering, we can decrease large amount of similarity calculations. Here is the data structure for feed SKSJ, AKR3. AKR3 is an extension of AR3, and it maintains following components in each node and I. OI is a set of objects maintained by the subtree rooted at node NI. RY is a minimum bounding rectangle, MPR, that encloses the object in OI. JI is the maximum keyword similarity in OI. Finally, SI is a set of keywords appearing in OI, which is held by only brief nodes. In this example, Node N1 maintains O1, O2, and O3. So R1 is this rectangle. The keyword sets of them is like this. And the most similar fields in terms of a keyword is O1 and O3. And the keyword similarity is 3 divided by 4, 0 0.75. So we set JI 0 0.75. Finally, S1 is union of them. So T1, T2, T3, T4, T5, and T6. Next is threshold initialization. In our observation, when MVR is small, objects in the roof node are near. And when JI is large, the keyword similarities appears in the roof node are large. So we thought that we can predict a reef node which has a similar pair. Our special initialization is based on this idea. Here is the detailed procedures. First, we calculate FNI for each reef node. As you can see, when RY is small and the keyword similarities in this node, JI, are large, FNI becomes large. Then decide the initial threshold from the node which has the largest FNI. In this way, this initial threshold can be tighter than random. Next, we introduce node node filtering, which can form all object pairs into nodes. For given two nodes, NI and NJ, we calculate USM. As you can see, when NI is far from NJ, like this, and the maximum keyword similarity appears in common ancestor node JIJ is large, USM becomes small. And we know that USM is a similarity upper bound of pairs in product of OI and OJ. Therefore, if USM is lower than the current threshold, we can prune pairs in this set. If we cannot prune with node node filtering, we can use object node filtering. First, given a object O and node NJ, we calculate USM. As you can see, when distance between O and RJ is large and their keywords are not similar, USM becomes small. And we know that USM is a similarity upper bounds of pairs in O product of O and OJ. Therefore, if USM is lower than the current threshold, we can prune pairs in product of O and OJ. Here is our entire algorithms. First, we do threshold initialization. Second, for each brief node, we do node node filtering. If we cannot prune pairs by node node filtering, we do object object node filtering. After filtering, we calculate similarity of rest pairs and update answer. Next is experimental evaluation. We use real world dataset and computers are sig-join. We confirm impact of cardinality. This figure shows x-axis is cardinality and y-axis running time. As you can see, feed SKJ outperforms six join and is scalable. 
Next, we also confirm impact of K. K means the result size. The X axis is K and the Y axis is the running time. As you can see, when K is large, the search space becomes large and the running time increases. However, feed SKHJ out of a six join on all setting. As a conclusion, we have proposed feed SKSJ first and exact algorithm for top case spatial keyword similarity join. We have demonstrated the feed SKSJ out of the state of the art algorithm by extensive experiments on real world datasets. Thank you for listening.